Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the new releases that are coming out September 5th 2018. I'm going to try to go pretty quick because there's a lot of books and I want to squeeze them all in in under 15 minutes so I don't have an insanely long video. So starting us off is from Action Lab and it's a new number one this week called Gun Cats. It's about rookie bounty hunters trying to make a name for themselves on the hunting circuit they accept a job from an exotic pet dealer and things start to go kind of crazy. Sounds cool. I'll pick it up. Doesn't sound amazing, but sounds like something. From Aftershock, we have number 10 to the Dark Arc series. I've been enjoying that, so I pick it up every month. Rocco's Modern Life, number 8 from Boom Studios this week. And this one has to do with Rocco's uh, high school reunion and his bullies from high school. We have two really cool looking covers for this one. Uh, also from Boom, we have a new number one this week with WWE Next Takeover Blueprint. There's this cover, and then there's this connecting subscription variant. Dark, Her Dark Horse has a new book, a new number one <laughs> releasing this week called War Bears. And it's about a Nazi fighting superheroine created at the peak of World War II by a guy trying to make it big in comic book publishing. The story follows the early days of comics and how the rise of post-war comics put an end to his dreams, and it's written by Margaret Atwood, who is like, I think Margaret Atwood is a novelist, and she has written like a few comics. I think I'm right. Could be wrong. Who knows? Uh, we're also going to get Seeds number 2 from Dark Horse this week. Seeds number one was pretty crazy, so I'm going to continue to pick it up. Moving on to DC, we've got uh, Batman number 54, and we've got two covers on that one. This one and this B cover. We're also going to get a couple of number ones, or sorry, a few number ones this week uh, from DC. So one of them is going to be Border Town, which is about a crack in borders between worlds that release an army of monsters from Mexican folklore with this cover, this A cover here, and then this really cool looking B variant cover. Uh, next up, we have another number one, and this one's by Bendis, uh, which looks to be another meta comic book. Uh, you know, another comic book about comic books. They're kind of like the new thing right now. Uh, I'm kind of done with these. I'm not too excited about meta comic books. Uh, it was cool for like one or two, and, and now I'm done. Um, I'm sure, you know, I feel the same way that, you know, some other people feel about other things they're done with in comics, like variant covers and stuff like that. But just meta comics aren't really doing it for me. Um, but sorry, the title for this one is Cover. Uh, so it just, it comes at a bad time. You know, we just had Hey Kids comics, and now we have War Bears uh, this week, which is about you know, meta comic book, so it's just kind of a weird time for, for that to happen, but whatever. Uh, so there's two covers on this one, this cover and then this one. Uh, also, there's a great Matina B cover for Deathstroke number 35 here. That one looks cool. I'll be picking that one up. Uh, and from the Sandman universe, which I'm not really well informed on, we have a Dreaming number one, or the Dreaming don't know the B cover looks really cool uh, so I'll, I'll pick it up and check it out there's another new number one from Bendis and it's United States versus murder Inc uh, and this one is gang mob boss crime family hitman stuff there's a few covers on this one as well I just haven't been that excited about anything Bendis has done over at DC yet they're all whatever maybe this will be cool I don't know I didn't think Pearl was that cool. Cover doesn't sound cool, and this doesn't sound that great either, so whatever. So moving on to Dynamite, for all the fellow James Bond fans, we have James Bond Origin number one with a whole bunch of covers. There's 13 covers on this one. A few of them are incentives, and none particularly stand out as like anything that great to me, so I'll just show the main cover here. Uh, but keep in mind there are a lot of covers on this one. Maybe you want to go check out, uh, see if there's one that you're super interested in or if you're just going to pick up whatever, if you don't care about the title at all. Uh, from Image this week, we have Bully Wars number one. 
uh, written by baby cover variant all-star Scotty Young. The premise is about a bully who becomes bullied. He becomes the bullied on his first day of high school. And if you guys live in the Florida area, in the Florida state uh, near Orlando, Scotty Young and the artists are going to be doing a couple of signings at Coliseum of Comics on Saturday the 8th. Definitely go out and see if you can get some signatures and stuff from Scotty Young on, on this one. That'd be really cool. So also from Image, Snot Girl has a new story arc coming out called My Second Date. Uh, while her friends have some concerns, Lottie wants to take her relationship with Caroline to the next level, which is why she's keeping it a complete secret. Um, so there's two covers on this one also. I like Snot Girl. It's kind of like a fun, weird thing. Also from Image, we have Spawn 289. Uh, there's two great covers on this one. And this kind of is the beginning of the countdown to issue 300. Also, we've got the Taboo, you know, new, new to the English language Unnatural series. And this is number three. This book is really weird and I really didn't want to like it but I ended up liking it I think it's pretty cool there's a couple of covers on this one and uh image is doing this thing I'm not I, I didn't grab much information about it but it's something about donating to charity for these uncensored variant covers so there is an, uncens an uncensored variant cover on this one this week that shows some cleavage here um I've got it blacked out for you know since we're on YouTube and everything, but that won't be blacked out on the actual issue. So, um, And then we've also got The Walking Dead, issue number 183, and this really great Bill St. Cabbage variant covers that we've been doing. Uh, so moving up to Marvel, moving on to Marvel, we have a new number one this week with Asgardians of the Galaxy. Uh, and this is coming out of the events of Infinity Wars. Thor and his team are off to stop Nebula from trying to rule the galaxy. It's got four really good looking covers, but I can only show you two because that's all I had from the site I was looking at. Next up is Astonishing X-Men 15 with Havoc and the team on the run from the law. Uh, there's a regular cover and then a Cosmic Ghost Rider variant cover for this one. So that one looks pretty cool. Now my favorite cover of the week is this. This is Avengers number seven. And it's going to take a look at the very beginnings of the Marvel Universe. Uh, I love the A cover. There's a B cover I don't have a picture of, and then a uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider variant, and then also a Spider-Man video game variant. I don't know what's up with that, but that's what's happened. From Mr. Donny Cates this week, we've got uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider 3. Um, there's been a lot of you know complaining lately about the mashup characters that are in this one. I, for one, am pretty excited about them. I think it sounds pretty awesome. Um, I'm excited to see some of these characters play out. So sounds cool to me. We've got issue number three of Death of the Inhumans this week with a regular cover and then a really awesome Young Guns variant. Uh, and then we've got Al Ewing's Immortal Hulk number five. This series has been really cool. I really like it a lot. This one's guest starring Alpha Flight Sasquatch. And there's a Cosmic Ghost Rider variant on this one as well. We also have Old Man... Old Man Logan getting an annual this week, guest starring The Punisher. So that's really awesome. And for some odd reason, there's a Silver Surfer Silver Surfer annual. I have no idea why. There hasn't been an ongoing Silver Surfer series for a little while. So, And I didn't see that there was one coming up. Maybe I'm wrong, but whatever. Thanos is in his own title again this week with Thanos Legacy, written by Donny Cates. This one's to bridge the gap between Thanos Wins and Infinity Wars. There's a handful of covers on this one. I really like the Perez variant. So Next up, we have issue number two of Venom First Host, and there's two covers on this one. There's lots of guest stars this week in comics, including Deadpool and Weapon X number 23. The solicit reads, When a secret clan of Satanists wants hell on Earth for mutants, Weapon X Force is the only team standing in their way. With Deadpool, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Uh, lastly from Marvel is X-Men Gold number 23 with X-Men versus the Undead in Storm's final battle, question mark. And then last up from Titan Comics, we have Elric the White Wolf number one. This is a comic book adaptation 
of an apparently critically acclaimed fantasy epic written by... And this one's got three covers, including this design variant that looked pretty cool. I completely forgot to throw in uh, from Marvel Deadpool number four here, which brings Deadpool to real to weird world where he falls in a time storm. All that matters to me is that Man-Thing makes an appearance in this one, and it sounds fun either way. There's also a Cosmic Ghost Rider variant on this one as well. Sorry for forgetting that, so I inserted it here. So that's it. I tried to blast through those pretty quickly. Hopefully the video didn't suck. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys later.